today we get started today's section and let me introduce um tx1 and tx1 is um joined a major company by trend micro and mosa so um basically trend micro has over 30 years security knowledge in high speed dpi also in say security research and well mosa is uh, um, also as um over 30 years um ot knowledge in ics infrastructure and protocols so they will come by the cyber security and ot knowledge and that is tx1 so before we start this um lab um I still introduce myself again. I'm a researcher, and now I work for TS1 and Tremicro. Also, I'm, I'm focused on ICS and scale security, also in enterprise security. And in the past, um, about two years, um, I published and I discovered more than 10 plus CV numbers, and I published three SCI journals. Also, I spoke at many conferences such as HITCON, SCTOR, HITCON conference, ICS Semester conference, USA and Asia. Also, um, in this year, in this year, I also, I will speak at a Black Hat Europe event. So if you are interested in about IoT and ICS security, you can join this, this event. And also, I'm, uh, I'm this literature of HITCON training 2020. Also in a Ministry of Education, Ministry of National Defense, a Ministry of Economic Affairs um, in Taiwan. So also I'm a general coordinator of the Kong Hex in Taiwan Conference 2021. Yeah, so that's me. And we go to the today's section. So this today's outline. Um first I will introduce the our ICS domain knowledge fundamental and it's well cover the scope of IT and OT and what is ICS SCADA. Um I'm not sure about of or not is everyone know what is ICS and what is SCADA. So I will introduce this more deeply. And I also I will um introduce a more introduce about the key core of ICS communication. Is a, a core of ICS is our ICS communication protocols. This is very interesting things because we know the HTTP protocol, RDP protocol, or SMB protocol. But in ICS or um, ICS environment, there are many different protocol use, usage. So also we will, um, I will introduce the ICS SCADA security thread fundamental. What kinds of thread in ICS and what kind, what how hacker attacks ICS. So we will share some idea, we will share some um, concept and attack vectors in this part. And second one is um, our MITRE, MITRE, um, MITRE attack matrix for ICS. In this year, in this uh, beginning of this year, January, um, MITRE published the first version of attack matrix for ICS. So we believe um, the, about the United States already published this. So also MITRE is the lead, lead of the uh, attack matrix, uh, attack, or, uh, attack matrix for enterprise also. So they public ICS. So we, we know these very important things. So, um, we will introduce this. And then we will talk about today's, um, our attack protocols and attack and def uh, and protocol detection and prevention. So this lab only two hours. So I will quickly introduce the domain fundamental and substrate fundamental. So, you, you, and, and we will, um, have more time to perform a hand-on training about our protocol attacks and detection. And before, um, we start this, um, this uh, material, I just want to make sure. So everyone receive my link, my mail about our material download link in this link. Um, there are three virtual machines in the, here in the Google Drive, and I will provide this slides um, after this lab training. And also, I will up upload the, this uh, slide material to the Google Drive too. So if you have you don't have uh, you don't have the link about material, um, just raise your hand or send a message in the chat box. So let me know. So if if you you don't have the um the, the download link, so. Run have download link, so I, I just make sure this. Okay, so go to list today section. Okay, I don't know you don't have, um think you don't have. Okay, um just wait a second. I find the link. Okay, list he here. So connect to the this Google Drive link, and there are three virtual machine. Press download late about download it, and um. So if possible, you can um, listen to me speak and also import your virtual machine. And there are three virtual machine. One is uh, HMI and one is PLC and the other one is Kelly. As you know, we will use the HMI and the PLC simulator. There are two simulator. So we will use simulator to simulate the uh, communication of ICS protocol 
into Windows based on machine, so please import this and um, run this. Also, um, you, we, you have a uh, Kelly Linux and this Kelly Linux we are, we will use to the attacker. So, so, um, we will send this, uh, there are some script and some, uh, tools already pre-installed in the, this Kelly Linux. So we can, you can help use this tool to attack, um, the POC or to attack the uh, HMI. Okay. So, okay, I see the main fundamental. And basically, I will spend one hour to explain those uh, fundamental information. And every one hour, I will more, um, provide more hand-on training. Okay, so first, um, what is, what is IT and OT? So in this page, we can see the, um, 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 so many things about IT and OT. We know in IT, we use uh, enterprise PC kinds of server, but in OT, in OT side, um, there are POC workstation, sensors, HMI, SCADA, many type, um, devices and also the like, many kind of sensors for different industry in power, in oil, in, um, water, wastewater. It, there are, there are many different, there are many different, in, including manufacturing. There are many different sensors. Also, I'm um, sounds, I say scale security, I say device environment, they have on um, remote stations. So they are very different. And also in this slide, um, we compare, um, we compare the, um, the difference between IT and OT. And as you know, um, in the IT side, um, they will, you know, the, uh, the service, service interruption is uh, okay. It's okay. But in OT side, I say site, there are real time operation and downtime is unacceptable because if you don't have power, you don't have, um, water or you don't have any, um, nuclear or any, um, manufacturing. Um, system running. So it is very, um, difficult things. So you cannot, we cannot accept this. And also about protocol. Um, basically in IT site, they use, um, standard protocol like TCP IP based on TCP IP. And all of the standard, um, you can find the internet. But in OT site, um, TCP protocol is a vendor, is, is many, is a lot of is a uh, vendor specific protocols. So like motor bus, um, like Siemens S7 owned by Siemens or mail set like owned by Mitsubishi or, um, all more things, things owned, owned by Omlon. So, so many um, vendors will own or create or build their own ISIS protocol. And also um, about a threat, um, in IT side, they only have, um, IT threats, but in OT side, they have, um, IT and OT because basically, um, if you have OT environment, usually you will build an IT environment to help your operation. And also about a support lifetime, um, IT usually is three to five years and OT is 10 to, um, 20 years. But basically in the real, in the real environment, I, I saw the, um, about 25 years or 35, 30 years for support lifetime still running in devices. So we know OT environment is very, all OT devices is very old. And also security patch, OT sites, they need to keep operation running. So they hardly to apply the security patch. And also the event impact is very, um, serious on, for people, for the environment and industry. Okay. So it's a, uh, uh, triangle is for, um, for the difference from our, um, confidentiality, availability, integrated. So, so, so the view list. And we know uh, from OT sites, um, everyone need to, um, to, uh, like, uh, make sure availability is the first priority. So when the availability is safety, uh, safety is fight, um, it's, it's possible to discuss the integrated word, um, confidentiality. So, um, they need to keep operation running and they may need to make operation is wrong, is right. And then they can they have the opportunity to talk about the security in OT side. It, it, it is this key reason. Also, and about the protocol, about the protocol. So we, we know, um, just for IT side, we are familiar with the, um, HTTP protocol, RDB protocol or FTP, SNTP. But in OT side, um, there are many protocols like Mobile S7 or DMP3 for, um, power industry. So many, many protocols. So in IT side, there may be only, um, 100 or 200 protocol, but in OT side, then they may 1000 or 2000 protocols. It is many protocols. And even if Mobus is a public protocol, um, they don't, they have different, um, type 
for on different managers. So it's very tricky things. Also, frustrated. Um, you will see the um uh, extra long is manufacturing long, and for manufacturing long because there are many devices is for IC specific. So there are there 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 are um IC specific vulnerabilities. We are here. So more vulnerabilities, but fewer patch. So few script patch. So we we know LT in Ramble is very 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 care. We need to very care of this. Okay. Um. Just give a list and no security patch and no antivirus. Also, um, about the security event impact. So, you know, in LT side, like, um, you, you can image, you can think, um, if you, your power industry, your power plant is shut down, is hacker hacked or attacked. So you, you don't have power can use. So the impact or on your environment, your life. So it's very, if, uh, the very things. And first, we, we talk about the OT scope. So we know everyone talk about ICS, talk about SCADA, but and also some, some people talk about OT. So, um, this slides want to identify, um, this, this real scope. Uh, I think OT is bigger than the ICS and SCADA. And um, however, SCADA and DCS is a type for ICS devices. So ICS systems. So I, I will introduce this later. And uh, um, ICS is a general term for increase the auto, all of the automatic systems. Automatic systems, we, we will um, um, generally talk about uh, is ICS because for ICS, there are many um, different type systems. So so they will use this um, to, to general term for ICS. So what is ICS? So again, um, ICS is a uh, um, zero chain used to pi used to describe um, um any system that generates information on the industry no protocol and modify regular or management to the process to achieve the desired result. So generally speaking, um, ICS including the SCADA, DCS, um, process control system, or safety instrument systems, and automation systems. So, so many systems is it, automated. Uh, we, we call this ICS. And there are um, three main functions for ICS, um, control view and uh, um, monitor and control function is used to control value um or like um motors or uh, and other components and view function is used to um watch the currently um status of the process in order to make the right decisions as we know uh, one and um, after we will talk about this is one attack vector is the for view because view is about hmi and if hmi show the wrong message or wrong um, display and it will lead to the operator to make a wrong decision so we, we, we make sure the, the view is make in help to the operator to make a right decision also monitor and and monitor, um, monitor function is used to provide alarm event conduction or um some warning to the uh, the process condition. So there are three main function for the um, ICS. And when we talk about the ICS security, you always we will talk about this model. It's Purdue Enterprise Reference Architecture. It's for um this architecture is all folks on um provide to the ICS security. So when we know um layer four to layer five is our IT layer, and in those IT layer is layer we are familiar with like a web service like kinds of server devices of land on here. And from level zero to level three, um layer are we, we call this OT. And from level zero is a uh, physical devices like robots or sensors, drivers, accurate. So all of the devices will put in the level zero. And level one is control layer and we will um, run the control process like bench control, safety control, um drive control, a control layer will be here in level one. And level two is the, our um, factory client, and um, usually it's a local HMI. Well, we're pulling level two, and level three is our um, site manufacturing operation and control layer. And in this layer, they will remote, uh, they can remote to the um, operate or remote use the engineering station to operate to the our IC SCADA systems. So likely it's is our um, um, IT and OT and our um, reference SCADA. Um, enterprise architecture. And we more dive into the OT site. This one is our common uh, ICS architecture and refer from IC cert. And you, you will see here is 
um, there are many devices and um, for server data application server, database configuration, and engineering workstation server. Also, we, they, ha they have HMI, human machine interface, and also they have a few devices network for kinds of controller, few devices, and safety systems. And safety system is optional because um, it's very expensive. So um, um, if if your process or your um, uh, your system is not very important. Usually, um, they, they usually don't install a safety system in the in your ICSS environment. So, so we know, but but this um architecture this figure is very abstract. So, um, we will introduce each ICS sample. So we will quickly go through this because we don't have too much time. But I will provide this slide to the uh, Google Drive, and also if if you have any question, you can type in the room box or you can um send an email to me or yeah anyway I I will if I, I receive the uh, question I will repay this. And also this one is service of kinds of um. Um, function for used to store a configuration for ICS and run the process and the uh, save the process data and also um, so many types so just for reference because it's not in service not key component or it's not um, ICS specific devices so I will quickly go through this and for engineering station and usually engineering station is used to interface with the servers or and uh, to modify database or configuration and I, I believe it is very important because some attacker vectors from these so some attacker will um, compromise engineering station first and they will deploy the malicious code to the um, PO, to the controller to the POC for engineering workstation because usually um, this workstation can uh, have the privilege to send a command to upload or download a program to the controller. So engineering workstation is very important. And usually this um, is Windows-based devices and like Windows Server or Windows 7 is it, okay and for engineering workstation. And second one is human machine interface. Um, this is uh, the user will use this to interface the provide system information to the operator. So it's a graphical interface. And there are two types and we will discuss later. And also controller, um, any type of controller like POC, ID, RTU, um, there are different purposes. But I believe the general term you have heard it before is um, PLC, programmable logic controller. And it's more common. And also, um, other have more controller like ID and P, um, RTU also use in, also will be used in different industry. And field devices. Um, okay. And um, field devices is talking reading the carry out the action based on the command and configuration. So it's, it's devices like sensor or like pressure, temperature it is for, we, we, we define this as field devices. And safety system it protect the physical equipment. Um, usually, um, unlike the um, normal ICS systems or um, process, um, safety system usually is extra. It's, it's independent system. They will monitor the physical devices. They will not interrupt or they will not um 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 connect to the ICS SCADA or SCADA system normally. Basically, so they, they just want to extra to connect to the physical. In devices because they just monitor the physical equipment, the status to make sure the, the um, situation. But I know um, this very abstract still. So um, here just some sample and um, I want to share with you for the um, real ICS environment, what's it look like. And um, there are three picture I will show you. Um, those pictures from Japan and um, in 2018, I visited Japan and they provide, um, they, they show this, um, simulator in real environment, but it's more one. And this one is manufacturing and expansion line. And you will see the, um, in the right side here is the Siemens as in is Siemens, um, Siemens, Siemens devices, Siemens devices, also, um, HMI, field devices. It's HMI, it's, it's touch mail base. It's like our, our, our iPad or our panel. It, it's, it's, it's touch mail base. And if your device is, is wrong process here. So it's manufacturing and real one and but small and copy from a real manufacturing from, from Japan. So also here. So you will see here, uh, HMI will send the orders and command to POC and POC will run the command in the field devices. In the field devices. And second one is building management systems. 
So um, usually they want to unstimulate like a SCADA, like a SCADA. And here is like a SCADA panel. In this side, because SCADA usually will kind of remote and can monitor many, many sites. Like, for example, in running, the, uh, um, for, for example, maybe one in, um, in, in Japan, the other one in Korea, and third one in Taipei, Taiwan, and they will use different in remotely to, to monitor. So they, they just show here. And this one is like the local in this one is battery HMI. And also it's control, control panel for monitor the power light or your air conditioner here. Also, it's a small one, small one. And this one is power generation, generating control system. Here is our, like our um, local, local HMI. And here is a SCADA. It's a SCADA uh, management console and different, um, solar power generation or, um, wind power generation also will put on here. Like this. Okay, so just reference for here for guys. And um, you will know and um, what is the um, real ICS devices and what is real ICS environment, what's it look like. So it is very important. Okay. And there are two uh, many um, system type. It's this one is SCADA and supervisory control and data aggregation system. And SCADA usually used to monitors and control remote facilities. Also, I uh, move the product, product over the large distance. So they will use the electricity or oil, gas or water, waste water and goods. So here is sample for next, for next. Um, you will see a different fed, factory will put it here and they will send the, uh, situation or any kind of information to the control center, to the control center. So. For example, we can say the power generation, transmission, or and distribution is very large systems, right? So you will have a SCADA here, like a control center, and for power generation, power um, distribution, power transmission, also can put it here. Also can put it here. So, okay, um, just wait a second. Okay, back to slide. Um, here, so here, this one is, this one is our, um, SCADA for generation, SCADA for transmission, and SCADA for distribution. So you will see it's, it's one SCADA and, and can monitor, remote monitor the situation because we know the generation is one place and transmission is a large distance place. So you, you will see here is difference. Also, um, second one is the DCS, distributed control system. Usually, um, um, this is, is a single vendor solution. So it's, it's very tricky because, because, um, for SCADA, um, maybe HMI is A vendor and, you know, session B vendor and those CPOC is different size C vendor, D vendor or E vendor and can integrate to the one SCADA system is okay. But for DCS, usually there are only one vendors, whole devices, each devices, including controller, field devices, process, or um, everything about the system is single vendor, a single vendor solution. Also usually it is redundant process because usually um, DCS is well used to refinery, chemical plant and power generation, only for generation, uh, and water or wastewater is very, um, High heavy industry, um, industry devices. So usually it's also, um, for DCS, you will say, um, DCS usually is located in one, um, geographical, um, 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 location. So we will say, um, here, like it's for SCADA generation, it's like a DCS. So also we will say SCADA and DCS, each other can integrate each, each other. Okay. This part. Uh, SCADA and DCS compare the, um, um, it's a table for compare SCADA and DCS. And yeah, SCADA and DCS, SCADA, his few devices and, and HMI are not, not integrated, but DCS to have. And also, um, for here, SCADA typically, typically, sorry, typically deported, um, when a large geographical area is covered. Um, but also, um, DCS is single, single one, because it's big, like a bigger, very, very big, for it's like an arena, like or a very um, large single um area to to build your um DCS environment, because for powerful manufacturing, for chemical, for oil, you need to a large distance, uh, or you need to um single area for for large distance to build your DCS. 
Also, um, here's your ICS operation. So basically, HMI will send us some point control aggregate or perimeter, um, many things proceed that to controller and controller will um, send to actuate and run the control process. Also, for example, if I want to modify the temperature uh, to 27 and, and 27 degree uh, and I will send uh, HMI will send the, send the, uh, Send the command to a controller and controller will send to the actuate. And before send the actuate, they will detect the sensor information. If the sensor information is 26 degree, um, controller will um, increase, send the increase temperature command to accurate. And if, um, sensor detect the temperature is maybe 28 degree, um, controller will send the command to decrease the temperature. It is a cycle and, and keep running always, keep running until limit start it. It's for ICS operation. Also, it's PLC, and usually PLC is a programmable for any purpose. So, used to IO control, logic timing, counting, or communication. So, so you will see so many type. Um, usually there are many uh, two type. Usually there are two type PLC. One is all in one base, like this, all in one base here, and second is module base. Module base, um, all in one base, like, uh, um, they were already included in the PCU, uh, CPU module, power module, um, or, um, IO module already in here, all in one, and you cannot modify these, modify these. But, but for module base, you, you can, um, add you, you anything you want for network, for, uh, IO more, IO module, for more CPU, um, and process power, you, you can use this for module base. And also usually PLC use the um real time operating system like VXWorks or QNS. So some researcher also will do some research on this part. And so um I remember in Bread Hat USA twenty nineteen and that's just last year. Um one research um one um some researcher published the um their finding about the VXWorks um to 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 the attacks um the RTOA systems. And also, PLC uses the following programming methods like C++, um, but it's new one, newer one, well, you only su well support C++, but basically, basically, um, PLC will use later logic to program the, um, PLC com command. So here, just send, show the some, um, um, program methods because for PLC programming, there are, um, one standard, but, but, um, I remember it's called, uh, IC61131, maybe, but, but I don't remember that actually. But just a one standard, they will follow this. So, so many type, basically two type, a uh, five type for programming your PLC and two type. And like, um, in the right side is a strategy to text and language is, is more close to our, um, um, on C code, Python code, or like this. But the other one is, um, um, your, um, graphical base. Yeah. So, so you will notice. And later logic is here. This one is a more common programming skill for, um, PLC world, PLC world, because usually operator or PLC programmer, they, they, they most to, um, well, have, uh, they must to learn this and they must to have this skill to write a, a later logic. But for the timing, um, I have more than three labs for this, but, um, we don't have enough time to do this. So, so I will skip this here. But if you are, inter if you are interested about how to program like PLC program, um, you can know, you can, you can let me know. Okay. Um, few devices already talk about this and I skip it. Few devices. So I can one and output. So, okay. Um, for your devices for output input and okay. Communication protocol. So in 2017 and 2017, um, 2017, there are only 46, um, 46% 46 for industrial Ethernet. It's based on RJ45 and other one is for your Field divide, field burst, like, um, RS232 or other, um, other zero lines for, um, for, uh, um, com uh, ICS communication. But in 2018, they are already have, um, about, um, 52%, 52% here. 
and also already is close to here. And also in 2019, almost 16% use already use industry no Ethernet. This meanwhile, this mean, this mean that is many more and more devices, more and more ISS environments already use the, our uh, internet, our Ethernet based communication. So, we know because the more close to IT site, because we know um, for HTTP, for RTP, for our device, our computer use the um, Ethernet, use RJ45 RJ to, to communication to um, um, browser the network. But um, in IC site, they only only pro provide only um, 60% to do this. So you, if I'm attack, um, I can um, study the industry node Ethernet protocol like Ethernet IP or like Provenet or Mode Bus, and I can use the internet to uh, Ethernet to uh, attack this. And also we back to here again, and in um back to this common I say common architecture again, and in this slide just show the um IC protocol. Um, for this IC protocol, it is key. It's core. It's very very important things for ISIS environment because um, it's very different with IT side. And usually um, ISIS protocol will use between HMI or in controller and few devices and engineering workstation in engineering workstation. So if you can use the ISIS protocol, you can come in or you can say come into HMI, you can say come into controller or even to the some device some real devices. Some real devices. So you, you will see here. And also, um, so many, so many ISS communication protocol here, like Monobus, DMP3, BNC, Net for Building, or GE SRTP, or Miss Beach Mail Stack, or, or so many, so many, um, communication protocol. And um, here is just a small part. So, um, I want to introduce those, um, popular, Protocol, but um, just quickly go to this for Ethernet IP. Um, it's based on common industrial protocols, and um, for this protocol, uh, this is open protocol basically, and it's public protocol. Um, public protocol, and for this public protocol, they even it's public protocol. Um, but there are many many um, documents, more than two thousand pages. So if you want to know how to work, how it's worked for this protocol, how to use this, uh, you need to read the over um, 2,000 page um, document first. So this is very, very um, tricky and difficult things. Okay. And also, um, let me back to using that for um, the uh, building. The building they used to so um basically um those divide those protocol use the common port for TCP for Ethernet IP and TCP uh um use TCP for for A one A and for UDP use two 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 and for A one A for just for um transmit the I O and broken the I O data so for real command and real um some valuable um message used to TCP protocol to transmit. And also BNC net used to UDP and MMS for power industry. So it is modern, it is a modern electric, uh, a modern power substation communication protocol. So it's based on IEC 61A50. It's put, it's, it's a, it's a standard, it's a standard. So they including an MMS, um, G, uh, um, Goose, um, GLSE or, um, um, some other protocols. And then P3 also too, um, is for North America. North America is master slave. And also today's point, today's focus, we will focus, we will choose one protocol is Modbus protocol. So I will say, um, after this lab, you will know how to work for Modbus protocol, but also Modbus protocol is a master and slave protocol too. But, and so what is master and slave protocol is you need to send the request and they will have the response without a request and without response. So also basically. Okay. And so I like this 
diagram because um, when we need to perform kinds of attack, um, we need to know how, how to work for TCP IP layer. So for already, um, for such, um, for example, for DMP3, um, they are Ethernet data header, IP header, and also they have TCP IP layer for transmission. And also for application layer, they have own, like own DMP3 protocol for with DMP3 header and DMP3, um, um, data unit and DRC. So if you notice, you, you can use some different tool to combine to or build the, the uh, traffic and send this DMP3 command traffic to perform these kinds of attack, to perform kinds of attack. Okay. And. So um, basically, um, DMP3 is only fewer protocol they have a less, um, security design for security authentication or until TLS communication. But basically, um, in fact, even they provide these, the, the, the protocol have some, some security, um, weakness or security flaws in here. And also, um, three mainly threat in mining spoofing, modification, replay attack. Also will happen in DMP3. And I will say, most of ISIS protocol, they don't have security design. They don't have security design. They just want to make operation running. So you, if you saw the DMP3, they support some security design is very, very, um, powerful. It's very interesting. So you should keep it. And for IC, um, uh, we mentioned this before, um, for IC68150, um, they have SMB groups or different protocol and even time sync for power industry. So like this, and you need to read the different protocol and you can fit the one standard. And if you want to perform attack for this standard, you need to read this. So it's very important. It's very, very important. Okay. And OPC. Okay. I skip this one just for your reference. And okay, here is just a sample. Um, usually we will use Wireshark to read different protocol, right? So like SMB, like a Kerberos for Active Directory, or like RDP, or many, many traffic or many more protocol. Um, Wireshark can, can analyze this. Um, but also ISIS protocol too, um, like Modbus, TMS7, or some public protocol. Um, also, um, Wireshark can analyze and can dissect it too, but, but for the OPC UA, OPC UA, because OPC UA, they don't have the regular pole. They don't have a regular pole. So, um, you need, if you saw this, the, uh, the traffic, um, if you don't define the port and you will see the TCP traffic. So, um, the, the Wireshark cannot recognize, um, what is traffic too. But after you set the, the protocol, if you ever, you know, set the protocol, uh, the port, TCP port to, to the right, and you will see the OPC UA protocol. You will see here. So you can analyze the different message, different content about this protocol. Also, OPC UA protocol have, uh, um, um, uh, it can, can encrypt or non encrypt it. And why pro why, um, I will say OPC is well, the uh, next trend of low ISIS protocol because, um, based, um, typically, um, device or well, use the drive one driver to communicate with HMI. So you can think about this is POC and it's two devices, but for OPC and before every connection and OPC server, and you will send a, like POC will send a uh, message to OPC server and OPC can recognize can an or analyze the different protocol like S7, like Siemens, uh, like, um, mode bus or like different protocols. And operator only need to, um, use the OPC client to connect to the server and they can try to, they can, um, operate, they can control device things. It's very simple. It's very easy because the, the OPC integrated the different driver to support a different ISIS, um, 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 traditional ISIS protocol. Okay. So just here is our ISIS fundamental and for, for uh, our, um, Domain knowledge, and after this, you will know what is IT and OT, and what is SCADA, and how it work, and what is key, what is called about ISIS communication protocols. And also the second one, and we will talk about ISIS thread fundamental, and what kinds of thread in ICS. So just a sample, because um, why we need to care about um, ISIS security first. And in Taiwan, 
in Taiwan, there are more. Um, we we can we will say there are more. Um, eight. Um, there are eight. Uh, critical infrastructure like traffic, high tech park, energy, communication, medical, finance, uh, finance, water, government, and over, over um five, over five. Uh, I'm not sure communication in Taiwan if, if for um ICS, but uh, traffic, high tech park, energy, water, and medical, those critical infrastructure sectors use the um run the control systems. So you can think about one thing: if you don't have um, um, traffic system, you you don't have a water and energy, and you don't you you have a broke a broken a uh, broke medical system. How how is life? What 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 uh, the life will be happen? What what will look like? It is very tricky and very terrible things. Also, for Japan, there are fourteen um critical infrastructure sectors, and overnight. Overnight, aviation, airport, gas, water, and so many chemical, um, petroleum, um, and so many, um, they also run the ICS devices. So it's very serious. And USA, United States, and 16 CI centers, and over 10 run the ICS, run the ICS or SCADA system. So if we don't care about those systems, we don't care about the critical infrastructure centers, and based on those, the run, the, the, the setters wrong the ICS. Uh, I, I, I think they will be happy more things. And also, we will recap some um, events, some incidents in the past few years. We will say from starting in 2020, from, from starting in 2010, 2010, um, it's for August, a technically power plant. And also to back to 2015, so 17 Triton or Tri 6 or 2018 wanna cry, not Pena, Laka Goga. And so many, so many, um, attack event focus on the, um, critical infrastructure, like wanna cry hit, uh, TSNC or, um, some oil and gas, uh, or North Hydro. It's pretty, North Hydro also hit here. So, so many ICS environment was attacked by different attack measures, but also they, 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 for example, they have some maybe um financial loss, or they have um hurt people's life or um normal life. So for example, for TXNC, just three days, they hit just three shut down three days for one cry attack. They lost two million USD dollars. They just two, lost two million USD dollars. It's, it's very incredible numbers about they lost. And also, we just recap the 2010 um, release on an event. So it's very, very, um, uh, it's very, very um, powerful and um, powerful attack from more of your day and um, for for your day and to put in that kind to for whom this attack and um, just quickly go through legs and connect to CNC and spread it and um, attack to the um, Siemens S7. Um, PLC and shut down it and modify the program, shut down it. Also, some vulnerability uses. Okay, uh, Ukrainian, um, in 2015, power grade at sub attack. So, um, we know for power, um, they have power generation, transmission, distribution. And in this event, they attack the, um, they attack the, um, distribution part. So attacker use the, Fishing email like Black Energy 3, Black Energy 3 to perform attack. And when the IT site, just, just from IT, attack to IT site and IT guys, um, collect this spot on this email and connect to CNC. And that time attacker can connect to the, um, IT network or business network. Um, incredible things happened. Um, in this business network attack, I can find a VPN credential and those critical VPN credential can al allow the attack to connect to control system network. So at that time, um, attacker can compromise, can try to compromise the, um, ICS devices and ICS networks. So use the remote access tools to, um, command over 15 remote stations and then the, the, uh, the breakers. So just shut down and step five, six, seven also used to delay the power recovery. Also including eight, step eight. So it is very powerful. And if, we will always say it's a national base attack for, um, some, some guys. Also, I'm just skip it, um, for uh, 2016. And why we mention this one, this industrial is the first one 
first malware in this malware the the con like container um ISIS power uh, ISIS protocols like IEC one 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 o four and IEC sixty one a fifty and OPCDA. Those protocol is focused on power industry. So so we know um uh, we know this very very uh, powerful things because it's first time I power industry ISIS protocol uh deploying the industry of mail weight. So we, we need to care about it. Also it is successfully to attack to the um shut down the um 75 minutes. Also Triton. And Triton is the first one um um there's a mail weight come uh attack to the six our um safety instrument assistance. So, so make also first malware targeting the safety system. And some conductor attack is, is, in fact, a lot of top up. Connect to network. Um, you know, just as a reason where it just a reason where can, can make a huge, large loss of power for the, um, the, it's one company. So, like go got to, to reason where to attack those hydro is first is compromised active directory. And bring the ransomware to everywhere and, um, log out of the section. And when Lakagoga is executed and log off section and log, Lakagoga will change the administrator password. So operator cannot log on and disable the network interface. So we load the network. So the, the, the factory has been forced to have to shut down. Okay. So. We know from the loss event, we know most, um, ISIS event instant is from IT to OT. But, uh, how about the, um, how about the ISIS vulnerability? So we know the ISIS vulnerability number is, is increasing from 2010, 20, 17, 180, 184 to 2018. We have, um, more than 200 advisory. And also, um, there are almost 26% is uh vulnerability is is critical it's critical and more um uh, more more and more um vulnerability is low skill label this means you just run some script or you just perform a simple attack so you can compromise uh you can attack this ISIS device or you can um perform some kinds of attack and also um yeah just just a uh, label reference level for low skill and medium skill and for for attack Okay, and okay, I, I skip a list. Also, skip a list here. Okay, but um, you may be curious about uh, um, how about the ICS environment? Is safety, is security, is secure or not? So, according to some report by CyberX um in twenty twenty, and in the um they they say um I CyberX say uh, CyberX say um they surveyed over um eighty hundreds um production networks. To, to do this analysis and they find that, um, over 71%, um, percent environment still use the outdate or unsupported OS like Windows XP or Windows 7. And 27% of direct have directly internet connection to the internet. So what is the air gap? Actually, it is, it's, it's no air gap here. It's no gap here. It's less than the document that can help us. Okay, okay. I will, rep I will answer this question later. Um, back to here. So also, um, 55% is remotely accessible and 66% no automatic updates. And how hacks attack ICS? So we, we will know it's from IT to OT. From IT to OT. And there are six attack vectors from server attack, software attack, communication protocol attack, replication. Yes. Um, Many devices in the ICS environment, they also run the ICE, um, web application. They also run the web application. So, um, they need to, so also web application attack is also we need to care. We need to care this. And, and also wireless attack and physical attack too. So just software attack, ransomware, buffer flow for mainstream or, um, ransomware. Um, just here is the reason we are here simulated for, uh, Econs. Because we will say Econs is in, um, in this year, 
in 2020, um, in the um June, they he can hit the Honda Japan, and why we say he can see the target ransom attack because in this in this ransom where they show some um I they will target some ICS application. Um, they will target some ISS application, like, um, so they will ransom and encrypt it. So we will say this is target ransomware. So just skip, speed on this and just it's ransom it. And also just ransom note here. Okay. Small demo. So up here is we say, oh, it's focused on G for NAC or, um, Honeywell, um, HMI web for target, um, ICS application. So we say this is target, um, ICS attack. Or I on target I um ransomware. Okay, I'm just skip this wanna cry because it's it's our lab material for uh lab um for um and, and this attack and uh, for wanna cry attack. So for wrong the um HMI, so we compromise this HMI is Windows base and um we we can in this environment we can send the the we can send the um, device, we can send the um, ransomware to encrypt with the one line cry. Also, okay. Also, um, Blue Keep RDP attack is focused on the um, workstation. It's focused on workstation. Okay, wireless attack. So we will say um, for industry no site um, in ICS, there are um, commonly use the different ice, um, radio frequency or you really will use the different, um, wireless kind of technology like Wi-Fi, DBD, wave for Bluetooth or more on that is you will use the other radio frequency. They will use radio frequency because there's maybe non-standard or they, they are not, um, IEEE standard for, for the, um, radio frequency. So it's just different, um, different, um, traffic. So physical attack is to, so you need to, um, retrieve, uh, configuration, um, crypto, drug, um, cryptographic keys or firmwares, um, and to, to do some research to, to perform kinds of attack. Application attack too. Okay. Um, communication attack, communication protocol attack. So we know in 2019, almost 60%. So if we study those at the protocol and we can kind of perform many, many attack on this site, so here just okay here just basic knowledge for communication protocols uh, attacks um for process for power for industry you know, there are many many um communication protocol so so you can keep this and you will say hey when you use the scanner or you you, you use some the, um um proper tools uh to find or oh, this open for for a1a Port for TCP, they may release the IP service, maybe. So also MMAP can help you. MMAP can help you. Um, MMAP basically, MMAP support S7, Ethernet IP, and motor bus script to, um, um, to, to, uh, to support your scanning. And also, I mean, S7 protocol, um, usually they already have malleability for CPU start or stop or pass password blue frost or remote memory reviewer. Um, it already have, um, um, on some malabilities. Also, okay. So, um, okay. Here will be started. And that's one we will talk about micro. And before we talk about this, I'm thinking we'll ask the, this question about the, is there some standard document that can help us to design the CVS score or for OT as we have in case of IT? Um, basically, basically, um, I believe the loss vulnerabilities is based on CWE or um, like based on the um, CV calculator because we know if we need to calculate the CVSS, uh, there are some um, vectors you need to um, use and um, for those and um, yes, IT and OT is the same. Basically, it's the same. It is used to uh, the, the same standard to to calculate the CVSS, but basically. Basically, um, I, I find one thing is, is we, when we attack a PLC, usually we will perform kinds of remote code execution, but, but, um, in PLC side, uh, many people cannot, um, verify the, it's a real remote code execution. So they will be the denial of service attack. They will judge to the denial of service attack because, 
because they are not um um because they are they are make sure this is remote execution. So I I believe this is is very tricky things because in the um IT side, if we compromise, we we get a lot of remote execution. We will get double check in the server or in the devices. But in PLC, you cannot check the PLC does to the operating system. So so you cannot make sure it's is remote execution. But back to your question, um, is sent is sent for the standard to calculate OT and IT CVSS number. So so you can follow the IC cert website and many um IC cert website will publish the um uh, advisory if some vulnerability or some things happen, and there, there's some information there. Okay, keep going. Um, Hasmiter, and it's a non-profit organization, and also run many projects, and for cybersecurity and some vulnerability information is CVE or CWE, is owned by Miter, and also. And so intelligence is a uh, tech matrix or stack test texty. So also, um, we will focus on here. So Mighty is very, very big organization. Very big. Uh, how is my, how is, um, um, I was giving this straight intelligence. And uh, Mighty here. Okay. Mighty. And he can say, okay. And for Mighty and just want to provide a common language and provide knowledge base. So everything about Mighty. For enterprise or for ICS is a real incident. So Mitre only analyze the real incident. So from retrieve some tactic or technique and build the procedures. So basically, um, they will, well, this is original purpose for provide common language, for provide common language. And, um, so sometimes you will say for attacker, for attack, um, we will say here is focus on modified control logic and you means NTA33 or list of safety is TAAATAO. NAO. So it is a standard language, it's, it's common language. So you will provide to, to send them to tell the same thing. So for communication to defender, so, um, it's a sample. So, oh, this is address doing, oh, it's Adobe update. And also defender will say, oh, really, they can detect it's registered. Reduce the data, but in the list type, they say same thing is for registering running run keys since that are stop up folders for this. It's, it's common language here. Also, two here is, is two for, for same thing to provide common language. And um, January 7, um, yeah, um, publish the uh, attack matrix for ICS and look like, like this. And in this ICS matrix, um, if you want to know how, um, how to attack the ICS, and uh, you can reference, um, for no one attacks, every no one or every real instance will publish, will record in this matrix for initial SS execution persistence. So everything you want to know is, it will focus on here. And for, um, 11 tactic or 81, um, techniques. So for, for here, well, we might my, measure is simple. You can, you can refer this. So it's technique and this, uh, groups. Okay. So for my chair, for my chair, you need to know, and because, um, we will, we will map today's lab. We will map to the uh, my chair. We will map to the my chair. So some for certain intelligence use case. Or, um, you can map to Starnet and how is common language. So, so you, um, they can provide these to how to use these. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So go through here, more pass protocol. And after we are detect after, um, by Shodan, uh, we detect more than 80,000 devices in the internet for more bus protocol. So maybe the POC or many device type. So Motorbus is very um, early protocol developed in 1979 and it's a master slave protocol. And usually we define the master is HMI. Only HMI can send a message, can send a command to POC. So we lock a request and we a response. Also without any security decide in the, in the Motorbus and default policy is 502 for TCP. So one request, one response. Okay. So we, um, analyze this and based on TCP IP here. So if we want to perform attack, we just need to, um, recognize that we just need to build a, um, Motorbus protocol header here. 
Okay, and on the bus protocol, like this, you need to know this because if you need to perform kinds of attack, you need to um, build your uh, attack script or you need to build some tool. So in that time, you need to know what is model bus and how this work, how this work. Okay, so um, basically, uh, model bus attack is like a model bus application header. Uh, and um, protocol data unit. And so like this, so it's transition identifier, protocol identifier, and function code. And it's key key point is monobus function, monobus port, monobus protocol is function code. Like is for function code is you need to, uh, you need to, it is used to, um, tell the POC, um, how you do, how you want to do. Yeah. And the model bus and model bus data model. So they are for uh, memory address or for memory um, area about the model bus is describe input, call your, call yours and input register, holding register. And when her attacker view, because they are only two sides, read, on, read and write and read and write. So if we want to perform attack, you need to know that you need to read, you need to write the data to call yours or holding registers. And for read only device, read only, read only part, they usually provide all some data from IO systems or some date or version number we are storing here. But the real, um, some, um, application or some peers process data we are storing in code and holding just because they can, they need to read or write. They need to read or write. Okay. Okay. So here. So it's a reference in his map to the, uh, mobile, uh, it's map to the, uh, parameter play tables is our memory. So if you know, you saw the reference is st start from real, it means to read and write, um, this script, up, uh, it, it, uh, for, for call yours. And you saw the, the reference start from one, it means it, it, you, you, you will read the script input part. So then it's, it's for here. And, and basically, um, the screen put and call yours is a single byte. It's like on or off. Turn on or turn off signal. It's just one, just, just, um, just like true or false signal here. Um, and when you back to, um, start of three or four, yeah, it's, it's different, um, um, memory address here. So here's just a simple table map to have to map list. So, um, if you want to really call your status, and just like you want to read, um, you want to read, um, and, um, some, um, pump is on or pump is off. You will reuse the function call one and to read the reference start of the to, to, to read the list memory address and to, to get the information and to, to read the call your status. Also, you, you, if you want to, um, write the, uh, the, the, the call your, um, you will see, use the function call five and for single call your, also write to the reference stuff zero like this. So it's, it's a function code and to map your reference. So here, here is a re, re, um, read call your status here. And just for reference, and um, I, uh, just once again, I will provide a slide later and um, uh, after this lab. So um, I just want to make sure you, you know this information. Um, so you, you can see, you can see this document after the lab, level layer training, because you can see uh, how to calculate those response and, uh, and the request. So just quickly go through here and back to the uh, protocol attacks. So, um, before we perform the attacks here, we ju I just want to show some, um, video, attack video. Attack video like here. Okay. Um, just it is a final because I, I realized, um, maybe our time is not enough, but, um, it's up smoothing and command gestion and it's performing in a real, it's performing in a real environment. It's performing in a real environment. And, um, so just, just in case of you, I don't know. Let's wait a second. Okay. Here. So ops moving and command gestion is, is attack and performing real attack environment. And there are two watch box and, um, pump and read, read about this and HMI with the model bus TCP protocol switch and POC is architecture. You know that. And also, 
um, in our tech because the, we, we perform upspooling first. And why we perform upspooling? Because the connection between PLC and HMI is locked. So we need to up perform upspooling to treat the HMI and let, let, let um, uh, HMI think, believe the attack is uh, PLC and treat the PLC believe attack is HMI. So we need to perform upspooling. So we use the um Kali Linux two um two of Kali Linux to cap to perform and first we scan the um, host. And also um it's, it's a sample, you will do this later. So but we will use the simulator to perform the HMI and PLC to up smoothing and maybe do up poisoning sniffer remote connections and to do this attack to make sure and open our wireshark. Um, to make sure the connection between HMI POCs goes through the attackers. So you need to do this also because it's very, very useful for the real environment attack. So also we make sure the um, the bus traffic goes through the um the uh, route shock attack. So for this time we can do the reconnaissance, reconnaissance. So we can do the recon because we know which address, which uh, IP address, and already and um, which memory address value. We can know this. And also here is um our um I'm sorry for it's not English version because it's for 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 for, for Taiwan locals HMI. And also um I spend this is a um what level. I mean, seventy percent is a seventy-one percent high, and and twenty percent is twenty percent lower. So only is for this situation. And the water box, the level, water level of the, the box is only between the um twenty percent to seventy-one percent. And this upper box, lo a water level for sixty-four percent, and it's is a a pump. It's a pump. Yeah. So it's auto mode. And it's HMI and it's normal status. It's running, it's running and pump running to, um, let take water to up box, upper box, upper water box. And we perform also we use, uh, EtherCap filter to perform command ingestion. Yeah. So, so you will see here. Also, we will exercise to do this later. So we compile the, the script or predefined the script to in police and open pump. So in that time, your HMI will be shut down because in this attack, we hijack the, the, the request command. So the pump will keep operation, keep running, running, running. And it basically, um, each box only 20% higher. So if you, if the water lo level, well, you know, here it's lower and lower and lower. It will make the, uh, make the, the pump will be the, suffer the physical damage. So like here. So here is some voice and, and you will hear the, 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 the pump voice. And here is likely some pump already cannot get the water. So there will be the physical damage for this real devices. So we can successfully to attack with the mole bus. So before the before the, you perform attack, you need to know the what is the um mole bus attack. Um also um the other one is um response ingestion. So here here okay response injection So send us um um the op spoofing and we just quickly go through to the um there's response ingestion here. So here is our um customer customized uh, um attack uh attack code. Um here you will see we, we fake the response, we fake the response and set up table and here we get a little panel, we get a panel when we receive the mobile bus request in the packet. And we fake this response um, over based on IP over TCP IP and build a little model bus application data. You need a response to do here to all fake the all response. Any anything um response need. So also I'm um, just quickly go through here. So it's normal status here. Just keep running, running, and he 
different view we set up to 70%. And we run a Python code to perform attack. Its per attack is, is, is performed to the um, factory response to HMI. So let's attack is attack the POC, make POC to command the pump. But in this attack, we want to attack operator. We send the factory response to the op HMI. So when the um, operators receive the fake response, and they will do the wrong decision. So here, for like this, we perform this attack, and we send a command, a fake response, and you will see the different number is is running. So if I am the focus is if I am focus on um if I am focus on the um on the the fake response, and you will see is here is like an attack. Okay, so it's a two demo. Um, so, okay, just for in case of, so just is, okay. Um, some question, manner, manner ask please, um, what kinds of scan we can run while doing post scan on ICS and SCADA systems? MFA is useful. MFA is very useful. Um, here, for example, for the motor bus traffic, it's take us a motor bus. A motor bus have some sample, um, motor bus discover and then see its grip. Um, also you, you can use this. Also for support uh, S7 and Ethernet IP also support this. You, you can use a map for post scan. But in, in, um, but in the real environment, in my experience, um, if you do the, um, the post scan for the real POC and those POC is running in the, um, production environment, um, you should, uh, Slow down to um, set up your um, MAP speed to from D4. D4 is T4 um, to T to T2 will be slower because if you um, your speed to to speed uh, too quickly um, to quick um, your POS will be shut down will be shut down and will be um, cannot provide a service to your uh, production service. So you need to do this um, carefully and so as as far as one is used to a map. And what kinds of, um, we can, what kinds of steps we can take if something goes wrong and what does testing on the live production six get assisted? Um, basically, I will say, uh, in my experience, um, um, we should be, um, report the situation to everyone, to everyone know this, and we, we stop our, um, testing. But, Basically, before we perform the testing, we should know what this testing will be lead to the what kinds of result. We we need to pre pre predict this, so we need to marry family with these um tools. So um, some say, someone say um, say uh, we can use a map um, but um, uh, sorry, Nessus. Um, I believe Nessus is very powerful and useful tool, but for ice, real ice environment. Uh, if you, uh, if you a map, if you need to do the runway, uh, runability assessment, I think it's not work because it's too quickly. This have a high opportunity, um, to lead the, um, devices fail or devices shut down. So if you want to use NASAS to scan, um, you should, um, close, you should turn off the many plugin and you should, dis you should disable your, um, pause scan. Uh, script to, to do a scan and um, whole system network. Okay. And also, um, before we start it, um, I realized, well, we don't, maybe we don't have much time. So just 30 minutes. Um, let me just let me. So everyone can see my screen for layer two, three virtual machine, right? So, okay. Um, let me turn on the three virtual machine now. Okay. Um, basically, maybe we don't have too much time to do the exercise today, but you, you, you have V virtual machine and I will provide the slide later. So you can do this among exercise in your home. Um, but I want to tell you how, how to use this library. Okay. And okay. Just one second. Okay, just double check. Everyone can see my screen. 
now have layer R3 device X. Um, Kelly, I'm two Windows device X. Everyone can see. Okay, um, actually, my edge of I. Uh, the password about the um, Windows machine is uh, usually is HMI and password is um, two times HMI, 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 and looper. Okay, and POC2 is use POC and POC. Also, um, in the this environment, there are um, some simulator. There are some simulator. So wait a second. Small one. Okay. Um, there are one tool called more scan and more thing. Okay, and here a more scan, and we use more scan to simulate the HMI. Okay, we use this, and we use a more thing to simulate the POC and um, before we stop connection and um, you should make sure your IP address is work so um, okay just check this and if you can you know okay, connect to in here this part you need to set up your PLC environment and open your PLC and open file open new and um, open new address so we know more about the address right so here is is start before is holding uh is, is our um input register holding a uh, holding register and we, we've modified the address from 001 so here here you know your POC address is here, so just we just try to connect to connect to your POC. And modify to the holy register. Okay. Uh, Wow. All right, two, right, three. Okay, it's work. Okay, here on the small wall, oh, small wall. So you will see here, we have HMI. And you have POC. So if you modify the POC value here, like um, modify ten and two three 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 three, they here here will be update two. Here will be update two. Okay. Um, like this. So if I modify to um, eleven and one two three four, also one two three four. So it, it's a, like a simulator. Um communication between HMI and POC. So if you open the, your Wireshark, you will so, so you will see the, the model bus traffic is goes to here. So here is model bus traffic. Goes to your network. So here and hook um okay just wait. Okay. Oops. So here you, you can use using your model bus um use more bus to filter and read holding register and here is really read holding register and if you um put to the uh, uh maybe call your status and also modify you in you can send a request to hold, call your but not response but not response exception and also um if we modify to call your status and you will find here 
So we call you and the response is no more and no value here will be here. So here you when when you download this here, this part you will finish your simulator in simulator environment in your SS network. And also you can do the um attack in your Kali with our, um, our two video attack to perform again. And also in our slide we will show some demo for here for this. So again, you can modify perimeter. You can use um, use uh, Kali tool. If one is model model bus, is you can use model bus to uh, send a command to. Let me check my IP address. Okay, it's worked. Okay, and model bus, and you want to read and IP address. Okay, and you want to read at least read and you want to read uh, maybe 110 oh oops um let me check my register on register oops Okay, I'm um, just wait a second. So okay, everywhere um you can use first use Wireshark to do the um you can use Wireshark to perform the iter tap. So you, you can use this and to undefined sniffer and open and to scan host and to find your um, host list. Oops, some trouble. Okay, so enable live demo. <laughs> I'm just back to slide again and you can modify with the model bus tool here. I will, I will. For in case of this situation, I put some. Now so you can scanning for the tool to emulate rating the coils or registers. Also, nexus, but just small part. Um. Also, uh, modify the uh, perimeter and authority the um command message. You can do this. And when you talk about the um command injection with multiple multiple techniques. Um, you can use, um, you focus on use Koyo, you use, uh, uh, use Koyo and how do you just to do this attack? To do this attack. Okay. So, um, okay. And code, um, is for, uh, here. You can use this function code and to perform attack. So, like this here, it's written tool. You can use meta spray. And here is, is my head to, you can use to, um, to model bus client, to show option, read the coil, write the coil, or anything. Or also is you can use the, uh, empty get to read it or write your devices. Also model bus CLI and uh, use model bus CLI to perform attacks and read. Yeah. Is my IP address is right for the R1? Okay. Um, try again. So, um, what about CLI and read? Oh, now this address oh, 04. Okay, so here you will see here. And you can read, also you can write. So it, it, it's like a modified perimeter and or authority must um, come in message because um, you are an attacker, you will allow the authority, authorization, you can send a command to PLC here. So you can write the, the 
So you need to make sure here, just back to HMI. Let me see, um, this zero, zero, zero. So we modify to five, 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 five. So here it will be five, 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 five. And so for this attack te technique, you can uh, modify the perimeter or you can, um, command message, command message to the um, real environment. And you can, um, make some impact on the real environment. So here, just for here. Okay. And, uh, um, so, um, for this part, um, you can um, use those tools and you can try this, those tools to perform attack. If you already download the virtual machine, you can open this and you can try to perform this kind of deck. Um, you can use a meta exploit or you can use anything you want. And um, also, um, um, in the Kalanias, in my memory, in, in my memory um, I, I I should put one folders in desktop in ICS. One ICS um folders in desktop. Um there are some there are one script is uh, our demo script for a model for a uh, model bus fake response. And you can use this attack and fake uh, perform up uh, uh, up spoofing first. Um you can perform this attack to to um to the HMI. To the HMI site. So, okay. So, just another demo, show this demo because you have a video. And, okay. And about the protocol detection. About the protocol detection. Um, so we will use the, um, it's a normal one open source tools, Note. Um, it's not his idea, so everyone you know. So, but, um, Okay, just quickly go to links on here. So how to install, uh, install your snort on how to check your snort situation and use, use dash B and how to use sniffer mode. And you can sniffer um, with snort. And to you, you can see every traffic. Also, you can see the detail or packet header and data. Also, um, if you want to pack in logger mode, a uh, logger mode, uh, um, you, you can use the, um, um, etc node. Or you, you need to, you want to, um, use some configuration from node. Um, you need to throw, um, 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 dash C, dash C, uh, and from etc node, etc node, the conf, the conf to read those, um, rule. So, you will see here, like this, detect the uh, ICMP um, traffic. So um, here, just wrong, just simple to know how to write a snow rule, and action is alert and protocol is TCP, and basically it's not not support mode bus directly, but we know mode bus based on TCP, so um, we can use this. And from source address, IP address, is source port and to any destination, destination port, and content pure. And rule option is a basic um, snow rule here. So you will see, you can see um, how to write snow rule, and you will see the source address and different uh, regulation. You can operator here, so here, direction, rule option. So you can refer this. Okay, and here goes to, quickly goes to, to the Design custom, right? It's no rule. So we build a rule for model bus protocol. And we know, um, um, we want to detect default port and um, for model bus because I, I, I believe this the snow is a layer. It's layer based. And so you need, you need to know, um, the, the snow rule, the snow rule, um, for the pole, model bus pole for 502. So they tend to 502 first. And also you can detect a function code. So back to uh, this function code, you know, oh, here is two, 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 six, seven, eight, eight byte port, eight byte position is function code. So if you say, oh, we can say alert TCP from any IP address to any port and it's multiple direction and to any to 502 content is an O, 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 O. So it just is really detect mode, a model bus header. 
is protocol identifier. You need to um, read. You need to understand the uh, protocol, and you need to try. Uh, you need to try to figure out some um, signature. And it's for the model bus head. It's protocol identifier is zero zero to a four zero into bytes. So here, here. So I've offset div, offset div to bytes. And message here is if model bus that uh, detection is model bus header. But you will say it is very, very not, not, not clearly. It's very not, how to say, it, um, it, it's very not hit point. It maybe at least four euro is not a real two bytes euro is not, um, a real model bus TCP header or TCP protocol identifier. Yeah, yeah, it's correct. So we need to do like detect more and more information and to make sure at least one is a model bus traffic to make sure it's, it's, it's real a uh, model bus traffic. So um so detect um detect the length about here. So also you will see here. So how how to write this this uh, signature? Um, just just need to detect the length, and also you need to do a function code. So here is function code. So offset to, to seven, and from eight so offset is seven from eight. Stop in seven and from start start from eight and one byte and if content is O one it we will say, say it's model bus function code O one. So you will say a model bus function code O one here, you, you will detect it. So basically you can combine combine the many many rule for for a model bus per hit, a model bus header hit and hit the function code. Rule and then combine that is 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 model bus traffic. So um, just provide some sample like um, this here. You can combine this. You can combine this. Content is a one offset. It is here is function call one. Here is function call one, and this one is function um identifier and protocol identifier. Combine this is model bus header and model bus O1 request. So you can combine this is make sure oh this one is this one is uh, um um this one is um, um a model bus traffic. So okay is this card this side is customer store rule. Okay, and just quickly go through this document, and also um, let this note that you can you can use this note engine in your um in your um in your your Kali environment. So oh, I already done. I already installed here, so you, you don't need to download this. You just need to run your um you run your Docker and to the to the Docker note, so you, you can run it this. Normally, and uh, I, I know it's not a good time for this lab, but you you can try to um to the some hand um and for this two lab, and I will um figure out the, the slide later, so I, I will upload this. So if you have any question, you can ask me directly, and or you can um open your uh, microphone, or you can type the message to the ear. And also um dark web is um, or seven ask, um, in real life or your gas industry or any other company who's used a scale POC will have firewall in place. And how do you approach to bypass it? Um, firstly, um, we, we know, uh, um, firewall is still in a rule base or signature base. And some, sometimes, sometimes, um, those attack first of all, first of all, you need to define this firewall. What kind of this firewall is for a, a control system or not? If those, if this firewall for not for control system, it's not for control system. So usually those um, firewall not support um, the ISIS protocol detection, even its prevention. So if those is non is a non ICS firewall, so it is usually for ISIS attack. So it's very easy to bypass. Just need, you, you just need to use ICS protocol. You, you can perform an attack. But if loss is ICS protocol traffic, is ICS is ICS firewall. Um, basically, you still you need to spend more time to detect the signature. Or um, we we know sometimes um some firewall or ICS firewall or some main firewall will say oh they are machine learning, so you can send a noise to to to. Upper the, the, the level, the, the range of the, the 
the normal values. So 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 you, you can try to detect at least um try to how, try to um uh, identify the, the rule and try to um try to uh, uh bypass this. So but I know this is very roughly, but because based on different firewall um type different is very different, so it is very easy. So how how you do fingerprint to identify a firewall? How do you fingerprint this? Um okay, it's, it's it's basically um for this if we need to identify a firewall, of course we need to scan all of the devices in the internet or in this in the control system network. And also um I I, I will say um is re um recon is necessary because we need to know um what is the field, what is the device in the, even in what is firewall and we can detect we, we need to know and we and we need to try to try to bypass this. So um basically how how do you fingerprint to uh, identify firewalls? So, so I, I think it's many many a uh, multiple situation. So it's multiple situation so um but basically um firewall you should see, still should be used uh, um make sure how how to detect of this firewall and how to um how how to make sure this so so because sometimes some fingerprints behavior like this firewall cannot detect it uh, and we can easy to attack or you can use the customer um customize the letter your scanner script to to make sure this is okay to you can uh, identify your firewall and make sure um, avoid the uh, firewall detection it is also yeah and um, is the test bed always re re recommended uh, from the customer from pen test instead of prop production testing pro um Product. Okay. Um. Yes, I will say um, in my in my option in my option, I will say um in different industry they have different situation. For the oil and gas, um, sometimes they will uh, um how to say the word um they will They will rest and every um maybe every ten months they will check the device they will check the um situation every device situation is right so so if we, um if we, um they have lost devices like all your and gas industry they have the holiday for the lost devices um you can test the, the real environment in that time. But if long, if you, if you don't have, um, I, I believe I, I recommend you should, um, print you should print test on the test bed. Is, is, will be perfect because we believe in for the security, um, we know in, even in this moment for the low ISS security, ISS environment, they focus on operation running is first priority. So when they talk about and then fit the operation running, they will talk about how to secure the environment. So I we always oh, we we will say this is very high quality, it's a high very level to uh, view the ISS devices or high security devices. Because high security devices you need to make sure your operation running, you need to make sure your your high 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 percentage or high um speed to detect your devices, your your uh, your, uh, your traffic, your um, or uh, identify attacks. So it's very powerful and you should you should hear this. So I think it's just okay. Um, just still some question. Um, yes, yes. Um, about like um, I think I'm there to write to the soft um, with value address we are remain on the undetected. Yeah. Um, for example, we can send higher or lower numbers in the which packet will perform fuel signature check from IES. And like not the banana. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, but if for the hex view, um, hacker view, um, yeah, if we want to really perform the like hex of attack, we still be, um, is a purpose. You maybe you want to uh, damage the system. So for we, we, we already know more and more APT group. 
and we want to target critical infrastructure and they want to perform kinds of um some security attack on this so they want to damage they want to make some physical impact on those devices so they, they want to use this to to do the um to to bypass to do the those um protections behavior to 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 perform this yeah so yes, yes. Um, just something different about the uh, um, uh, um, we, we should be the test, uh, testing or uh, a set, a set, a set in the environment to to test. But I think basically because um, IT and OT is still something different is, um, if IT server shut down, I'm just shut down. But if OT devices or OT server shut down or OT server failed. It's usually will be make huge impact, and usually IT have more backup devices or backup server or load balancer to to handle this, but OT not. So uh, still something different. But I still recommend um, if you are not um, uh, you are you are very key um, process or, or you should run the testing on the um, your test environment is better is better. Well, you could, should be choose one. A small part of your real environment to do this because in, in my experience or um, for water or power um for power they, they will use the retire system but the level still send us um a uh, real environment um uh, to test and for water we will we can try um, we can test the real environment directly but we will choose choose the small part to do the testing because the send whole system is sent so so we can choose the small part Okay, so um, I know it's very very lovely because I I I I want to share many many uh information and many um material to everyone. So I speak uh, I say very very quickly. So um, if anything I don't um explain very clearly, I mean you can ask me directly now or um for uh, or other way we will maybe we can um, stop this thing in this section and you can do the, your um, lab material and I will uh, you can use um, those devices like our uh, simulator to do this simulator to perform the attack and also um, I will provide the, the link to the here and also um, here's some ties so maybe I can share some um, share some video. So in my upstream, I, I say I uh, we can use the uh, it's also attack a Mitsubishi PLC, right? So please allow me to show some video here. Show some video here. Okay. Uh, just wait a second. Okay, here. So everyone can see my screen here, YouTube channel. And also um, here is our field devices, uh, it's PLC. Oh, but sorry, it's PLC, sorry, correct. It's field devices, it's, it's HMI. Uh, um, in a normal status, uh, in a normal process, um, this PLC will um, modify the light every 30 seconds. And this attack is want to simulate the Starnet. It's a Starnet attack. Attack the modify the um, um frequency of the uh, motor um from high speed to low speed to high speed to low speed in, in the short time. So those those change the, the, the loss change cannot effort by the fuel devices. So those devices fuel devices in already dam was that damage. So we, we want to simulate this attack too. Run the simulator this attack too. So just um, show this attack. So from HMI and field device takes. So every 30 seconds is normal status. So also, um, just quickly, quickly, okay, to light. And also we want to perform attack here. Okay, we perform attack here. We can, we, we build a, uh, a code for Mitsubishi, a um, like attack um, protocol. So we send a command to remove, uh, to remove, uh, uh, to modify the uh, parameter here. So to set 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds, we'll change the light. 
and after that we want from 10 seconds to 2 seconds to 8 seconds so from high speed to low speed to high speed to modify the phys to make the, the, this the physical devices cannot affect it and the, the suffer some some something physical damage so 2 seconds every 2 seconds very quickly to to exchange to change the light to change the light so here every 2 seconds Every two seconds. So and back to eight seconds. Every eight seconds change the light. So it is our, our our physical scenario and we want to make sure um, we want to perform this loss attack to um to uh real devices, real devices. Also we can um change the program download to load environment. It's very easy. It's very easy. Okay, so um, just want to make sure um, other question or something question or anyone. So if you don't have this question, um, you, you can tr um, hang on your lab. Um, you can ask me every every time. Um, also, um, also, um, just here is my just. Put my Twitter account. Just my Twitter account. So if you want to um, ask any question, you can tweet me and send me a message. And also, or um, you can send me the um, email. But also, I will provide this later. So, so uh, maybe tomorrow or um, maybe or later, a few hours later. Sorry. So also you can send me an email um to me. So it's it's okay. It's okay. Um okay, um just a few seconds because it's in Taiwan and already in Taiwan time it's very nice. It's very nice, already nice. So so but if you have any question you can ask me and also um I know in this COVID nineteen situation is everything is very hard. So um please keep Please keep your safety and um and and see you um see you next year or see you later. Yeah. So um if you don't have uh, maybe any questions, so maybe we end this section. So I think um AJ, do you have any um closing to do this lab? Um <clears throat> uh yeah, uh thank you, uh Mars, for your interesting talk. Um and the ICS Guard Security. Thank you everyone for being here and attending this lab. Um, some of you had the difficulty of down of not being able to download the resource files. Um, that's because Google's put a max quota of how many downloads that you can have. Um, we didn't foresee this uh, coming. So we're currently uploading it to a new drive and we'll get that to you as soon as possible. If you guys check out um, or keep an eye out on the Discord thread um, and we'll also email and we'll also email you the links. or if you if you can't find an anything as well, just let let us know and we'll send them over. Um, for any of you as well, that um, yeah, if you have any questions or um, wish to continue, wish to continue the discussion on the Discord, um, the thread is open. If you don't have a Discord invite, please let me know and I'll send you one. Um, as well, if you haven't joined the HITB's event networking platform, Brella, please do so so you can meet other folks attending, and you can also check out the villages at expeditions at HITB Cyber Week. Um, the join code uh, to Brella is shared on the Zoom live chat. Uh, just let me know if you can't find it, and I'm happy to help. And again, uh, thank you all for attending this talk, and enjoy the rest of the Cyber Week. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, for last one, um, I have a duck web I still have question. I'm um, sure any real time finding, or if you're writing any blogs regarding um your finding related SCADA. Um, actually, I don't have a write uh, any blog about uh, about SCADA, but um, what kind of about real time finding you mentioned? What kinds of what kinds of um real time finding? So maybe by the way, maybe um you can ask me um in the text message or tweet or email. So I think it's okay. So I think you're easy.